has one week to surrender at the jail in Fulton County, Georgia. As ABC's Rachel Scott explains, his lawyers are starting to negotiate how it's all going to go down. Donald Trump has just one week from today to surrender in Georgia. The former president expected to be photographed and fingerprinted. The local sheriff saying they're ready, that the jail where he'll be processed and released is open 24-7. And tonight, sources tell ABC News Trump's lawyers are now expected to meet with the DA's team to negotiate the terms as Trump continues to push false election claims, urging Republicans to rally around him. The Republicans have to be tough. The Republicans are great in many ways, but they don't fight as hard for this stuff, and they have to get a lot tougher. But today, just miles away from that jail, a different message from Georgia's Republican governor, Brian Kemp. He has said flat out the 2020 election in Georgia was not stolen and the party needs to move on. That was three years ago. And if you're still mad about that, quit complaining about that. A similar tone today from Trump's rival in the Republican primary, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. I hope that uh, we will be focused on the future of the country rather than uh, some of the other static that's out there right now. But DeSantis has been reluctant to take on Trump over his election lies. The New York Times reporting that a strategy memo posted by a pro-DeSantis super PAC advises him to defend Trump when former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie attacks him in the first Republican debate next week. Hey guys, Chris, Christie, how are you? Today, Christie firing back. People are really beginning to wonder what the hell he stands for. And if what he stands for is defending Donald Trump, then just drop out of the race and endorse him. That is ABC's Rachel Scott reporting. Uh, the former president plans to skip the upcoming GOP debate. ABC reports that Mr. Trump is even considering counter-programming the debate by doing an interview with Tucker Carlson.